What's up guys, my name is George and today we're gonna check out the UAG which is Urban Armor Gear MacBook 16 inch case. Now I paid for this one and I paid for all the cases that I'm gonna show you. I am not sponsored for this video and I want to check if it's actually worth it. This one costs 70 bucks plus tax so it's one of the most expensive versions of the cases for the MacBook Pro 16 inch. Now before this I have on my case the 16 inch SUPA case. This one is fine. I made a video on it if you guys want to check it out. The link will be in the description. And on my 15 inch MacBook Pro, I'm using the iBlanson case, which is perfectly fine also. And this one's been holding up for about two plus years and it's fine, man. I wish they made this case for the 16 inch, but it's not available. I don't know why, but I'll leave the link to those videos from those cases that I made an unbox. Now this one is the Pilo series. It's supposed to be, like I said, one of the best. This one's 70 bucks while the other ones cost 30 bucks. So this is twice as expensive. But I mean, if you're paying for a MacBook Pro 16 inch, which is worth over 2K, then I guess you want to have the best. But let's actually find out if it's the best or not. This one's supposed to have a military specs, or uh, military grade specs where it's drop tested. Now, one of the things that you have to understand about these specs is that they paid the laboratory so they make those tests and they certify you. So that means maybe SUPA case didn't have the money to get those certifications, but it probably is drop tested. And the iBlanson also, I definitely think this is drop tested because I mean, I've had it forever and I just drop it and well, not drop it like one meter of height, but I mean, I just put it on the side of my bed and all that and nothing happens. So let's get the SUPA case out of this MacBook 16 inch and let's put this one out and find out if it's actually worth those 70 bucks that it costs. So let's have an overview. All right, so let's get the UAG case out of here. Um, this is brand new, haven't even checked it out. So we're actually gonna see it together. I wish packaging was a little bit better, but this is what you get. Okay, this is kind of like thin, but that's probably one of the reasons they call this like a thin one. It's a pile of thin series. Let's get it open. So it's not two pieces, it's actually one piece, but it's united by this in the middle. It's a little bit flexible there. So let's get it in here. Let's see what happens. So it doesn't feel that sturdy or that like heavy duty, like the meant, like, I don't know, military specs and all that thing. So let's get that inside and let's get this one here. Force all this. On the bottom it says UAG. Get all this like clipped here. All right. So one of the things I've noticed is that the legs are bigger than the case itself, than the MacBook. So it actually sits on the case when it's laying down. And this is the look of that case. So it actually says wag this way. So one of the good things about this, if you like showing off the brand then this is a good case because it's actually most of the part is clear. In the SEPA case, let me show you that. The SEPA case has like a honeycomb over here. It's transparent in the middle so you can see the logo still, but it has more, I don't know, more obstruction to what the MacBook is. Um, in terms of thinness, it's same as thick as the other one as a SEPA case. Um, comparing that with that one, but that's, that's what I have. One of the things I like about it is that it actually clips so for example, if I close it, it actually clips there. So it's it's hard to open with this right here. So I have to force it to actually open. That's a good thing. Um, I like this right here, that little flexible part on the back, which is actually pretty good because it keeps the case, I don't know, better. In the other side of the other case, this one's separated because it has nothing to unite it. But overall, it's good looking. About military specs, um, this rubber on the side right here is a little bit more like flexible. I can kind of put my nail in it. It's it's not as flexible, but it's sort of. I don't know why they say, uh, how, how could this be shockproof? That's what I'm trying to get to. So for example, let me check it out here on this side. 
okay so this looks like rubber oh, okay 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 so it has like a transparent rubber inside let me actually um, get it off right here so we inspect how this is made inside so let me get it off Okay, so this is the inside of the case. Now, on the bottom shell, there's nothing. I mean, there's no shock proof in the bottom. It's just plain plastic. The only shock that I see is on the little legs, these little black legs. There's like kind of rubbery. I mean, that sits and it kind of bounces these little legs right here, but that's about it. Inside this case, there's nothing. Now, let me show you the SEPA case. Whoops. SEPA case. Well, we're actually in the same thing, right? Supper case also doesn't have any thing right here. So it's just a plain plastic. It's a little bit thicker on the supper case. But then again, there's quality in plastics. So I'm not sure if that has something to do with that. But in terms of shock proof on the bottom, nothing. Just a little legs. If you like kind of sit it with the legs, that would be it. Now on the top part, this is where the actual uh, screen is now here on the screen it seems a little bit more well not so much I mean I, I would think this would be a little bit more rubbery more cushion than the other one but no it's pla practically same plastic the legs have a little bit of rubbery into them okay so the shock on this one would be on the outside so if I feel the outside right here it's rubbery let me see if you can see that I can move the leg okay and so this is this little dark part is the rubbery part so it's the shell is on the outside of the rubbery part on the supper case well actually it's the same it would be the rubbery is on the outside so right here we can notice there are two types of plastics and this one's a rubbery one i can move that so this is like the outer shell so supper case is actually pretty well made so i mean both of these are pretty good I would say that it just depends on what look you're trying to find and if people know the UAG brand which is one of the most expensive ones you can get well I mean it's a name brand and you can have that there if people want to see that you can see the UAG on the bottom UAG and UAG on the top but in terms of protection I think they're both the thing they're both the same I do like this little clip on that when you use the legs for example, you got to open it this way and then it, it kind of clips like that. I like that. That doesn't happen on the supper case. Um, one of the things I don't like on this one and also on the supper case is that you have to open it from here, I would guess, from the middle. And you kind of get in the camera, even though I put a little protection on the camera. Um, you always put your little finger there on, on the camera when you're trying to open it. Maybe you have to open this one. You have to open it from the legs because it, or else it wouldn't open. So if I try to force this from the middle, it won't open. So it has to be from the legs. So it depends on preferences. And if you want to pay those 70 bucks for the look, then I guess it's okay. All right, guys, that's the UAG case. And overall, what I think, am I going to keep this one or am I going to switch over to the separate case again? And definitely going to keep the UAG. And I'll say for one reason, the ventilation on the bottom of the UAG is better than the SEPA case. So these are smaller vents on the SEPA case. So that's something that's a real concern for me, especially that I am doing rendering videos on my Mac. So I need better ventilation so it doesn't heat up as much. If you're not gonna do rendering, then maybe that cannot be a factor. And another thing that I've noticed now that before I edited this video, and that's a good thing, I decided to make this ending video because this thing right here, that little thin, thin part that's supposed to be like that little flexible thing, it's actually something that helps the screen stay a little bit more rigid. So it helps the screen wobble a little bit less since when you're sitting on it, it kind of helps out sitting there. I hope you can see that. But it helps the screen stay a little bit more in place instead of having the two piece like this and just having separated. So those are two things that I've noticed that I like about the UAG the ventilation and that little piece right that rubbery piece on the back that's flexible those are good reasons to go with the UAG overall 
both good cases, but I think I like the UAG. And the look, obviously, is much nicer on the UAG. Now, I hope since it's a glossy kind of finish, it doesn't scratch so easily because then later on it's going to look really, really nasty. And that's something that the Supper case helps out a little bit since it has some designs on it. But there you go, guys. Um, like I said before, I am not sponsored by these cases. If you guys would like to help me out, the link, it's an affiliate link. If you buy through that link, it helps me out with a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. So I hope this video helped you out to decide which one you should buy. And there you go. If you guys would like to comment something or just ask me something later on, did I keep the case or not? After a lot of views, just ask me. All right. See you guys later.